Hello everyone, welcome back to Fablehame and Baldur's Gate 3. The Dark Pursuit of Knowledge continues ever forward. Slowly, steadily, we approach the end of the game. And today, I have Castle Door Stink. No, I'm when I was uh, editing the last video, I noticed that uh, it was... It just was given to me. The stick, of course, not better than my legendary staff, but as you can see, it does give... Plus one to spell save DC in spell attack rolls. And if a creature affected by your spell saves or spells fail any successful saving throw, you get some health blast. So I'm not sure what this would be good for. It's a quarter staff, so you know monks can use it, I guess. Maybe the elemental monk variant? Possibly. But eh, I'm just going to go with Marco Hashkir, of course, because it gives me this, which I have not once used. I should, though, because I can use this to disintegrate for free and then disintegrate again. See that? Great. But today, we're going to be wrapping up Shadowheart's storyline. Because, of course, we ascended Astarian. It's time to help out Shadowheart. The broad sheet's gone to pot ever Unfortunately, since we're not doing anything super cool like that for her, I don't think. But that's okay. Before that, however, we have been looking for an individual. An undead individual. And, um... Might be worth a look. Is someone gonna get mad at this? That might be worth a look. Oh. Uh, I don't think I need to go in there, though. That's, you know, that's where we got this quest. Boat, sand, and stairs. We know those three things, and those things are here. But, uh, that's all I got. <laughs> I figured this was where they were, because this is the only place I didn't... Look, they're surprisingly close to where I got the quest, assuming they are indeed here, Mr. Rumbo. Nobody thought to warn me that Baldur's Gate is frequently assaulted by foul smelling fish creatures. I know, right? Okay, so there's a hog in her here. Um I didn't expect this. That's okay. Oh. You probably shouldn't kill an innocent person, Minthara. I know, I know. Oh. Executioner, level three. <laughs> Hashtag paladin things. You love to see it. All right. Well. Astarian, I know you're just ascended, but you've got, uh, quite, I mean, do I even go in there with you? Need to stay focused. I killed the things that were going to move next, so, you know, what we should do is become radiant. Where are you, Shadowheart? Where's your radiance? It's in here somewhere. There it is. Let's go with a, you know what, level four. Why not? Let us go save the poor peasants of Baldur's Gate with our radiance. Here. Let's have some fun. And then, uh, well, okay. I was going to try and get a sneak attack, but I guess I'm not. Unless you are tied up by a shadow heart, which I don't think you are. Nope. That's fine. Just smack it. Nope. I know you have a fancy bow. job. Okay. You can, uh, you can chill. Where do I go from here? Where indeed? I suppose On the question way. is, should I use any magic? But, um, there is a fireball opportunity, and I'm never going to say no to one of those. So, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> to fireball or not to fireball, that is the question. And what a silly question it is, because of course you should always fireball. All right. I've missed this. Let's use your fancy shooty bow. Now, Astarian is now an ascended vampire lord. Um. And I'm not sure how concerned I should be about that. Then has given him so far ascendant bite. I'm not sure if we can get more out of this. Did I hit the floor? I did. Um, 
Thank you for cutting those creatures down, truly. Gods know what would have happened if you weren't here. You'd all be dead. Do they do that often? Are you going to finish this? Okay. We protected a group Poor of civilians. I'm not sure why they're attacking out in the open like this. I'm not either. Is it a puzzle? Are we going to be, uh... Oh, no. gods. There's guts all over my boat. I know. What is this? Have I opened up a new quest line? Fish head. Oh, dear. If you're reading this, I am probably dead. Trapped underwater by madmen and fish flocks. Explosives everywhere. No way out. Praying for help. Marjorie, Quentin, Holly. I love you all. Light on my feet. That doesn't help me. Oh. I also don't see this Thrombo character. I thought he was here, though. Hmm. Hmm. Old Troutman. Do you sell Trout? To talk. Thanks again for dealing with those so wagon. You saved more than just my livelihood. Yeah, 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 sure. So. What kind of merchant are you? Ah. Shocker. I don't care how things are. Hmm. If I were a thrombo, where would I be? I'm kind of running out of areas with stairs and sand, you know? I mean, I guess maybe over there. It's really far away. That's kind of where I need to go, though, I think. I looked up where the House of Grief is. To One-Eye. Dear One-Eye, I don't know who you are, but I know we have a friend in common. A dear friend, and I have not heard from in a while. The last time we spoke, she said she was meeting you, and she hasn't been seen since. I'm not trying to accuse you of anything, but I am worried. If you know anything about her whereabouts, please come and find me. I'll be at the Water Queen's house. Didn't I murder everybody in there? I think I did. I also see blood. Leave me be. Aha! What? what are you doing in here? The man's stench is unmistakable. Death, decay, despair. This must be Thrumbo, the runaway mystic carrion was so eager for you to retrieve. This is my spot. Go on, find your own. I came to find you. Mystic Carrion was very keen that I bring you home. Mystic Carrion? You're working for him? Oh no. No, no. I knew he wouldn't let us leave in peace. You don't have to help him. He's the one you should be after, not me. Why? Yeah, why? You've met him. How can you need more justification than that? He, he murdered me. Murdered my friends. Snatched us right up from the dark side and, and made us these, these things. Monsters. Fit for cutting and, and grinding and, and desecrating the dead. He constantly abuses us. Makes us do the, the worst things you can imagine. There used to be five of us. My friend Dallas, he couldn't take it anymore. One day, I saw him drive a coffin nail right through Carrion's skull. Then another, and another. We thought he had done it. Freed us all. Then when dawn came, Talus seized up suddenly like something had got a grip of him. We ran to help, but he just exploded. I got so much blood and, and pulp in my eyes. When I looked back, Carrion was just stood there, completely unharmed. Uh-huh. Quite the story. Now, will you die quietly, or are we doing this the hard way? No! Please! The hard way it is. Okay, I see. Fair enough. Jar of Mystic Carrion's Heart. Ah. 
This jar, it feels like death itself. A sure sign of necromancy at work. Yes. Indeed it is. I thought <laughs> I thought this is gonna move. That's why I clicked on it, but hey, I found him. Uh, should I pick up his corpse? Loot. No, no, no. I want the corpse. Can't pick up, it's too heavy. Mithara, my dear. Oh. I wonder what the next move is. Pick up. Great. There we go. I've got a lot. I have his corpse there. for you. Can't slow down. That was, I think. Wait, 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 wait. What hatch? What is this on about? I did get the key for it. I saw that. What? Oh, I see it. Okay. Where are we? I see an explosive barrel. It's broken. The map is a little wonky over here for reasons I don't quite understand. Well, there was a trap. Best avoid that trap. I could just walk into it, Shadow Hunts. Starring. Good. Yes, it's a trap, Starion. Can you unmake it? Whatever. These things have stayed interesting. I don't know why. Step carefully. There's a trap. There was a trap. And now there's a lever. You mean not enough space? What do you mean not enough space? Oh, do I have to shoot this? There you go. Ha ha! Oh, clever! This is how he was going to get away. Scrapbook of love letters. This salt-stained scrapbook contains a dozen envelopes glued to its inner pages. Perhaps these envelopes once contained letters, but now all are gone except two. Grant. I wasn't going to read this. Too single for that. Hey, I didn't just walk into it this time. Although I did think about it. Guidance, please, Miss Shadowheart, if you will. Um, nat 20, okay. Not worth it. Shouldn't have wished to live I mean, in more interesting times. Okay. Fair enough. I have unraveled the mystery, and I have Thrombo's corpse, and I'm going to throw it right at his foot. Feet, you better believe it. We're going back. Is that blood? Alrighty. I have returned the corpse. I see you fulfilled our agreement. And with admirable gusto. Indeed. So what was that? You choose to deceive me. What you have stolen, I will reclaim. I will make your soul suffer for it! What happens? What exactly did you see? Bro. I, I brought it back. Fine. Unbeating heart, curdled liver, thoughtless brain, breathless lungs. I don't know what he's on about. I have advantage here. There we go. I don't know what your problem is, good sir. I was going to help you. We were going to be big friends. Now you're going to have to... Now you're making this difficult. But that's alright. I'll fuck you up anyway. Mm-hmm. This is what you wanted? Bonus damage against fiends and undead? I was really hoping one of those would crit. Never a dull moment. Is this what you wanted, Mystic Carrion? Oh. Those are pretty thick. He 
you have some fun stuff. Uh, but they did say he was going to just get back up. Have to keep going. But make no fear, for I am radiant. Make no fear. Have no fear, for I am radiant and have a spear. Moving. See, it rhymes. Oh, there were two over here. Not a fabe. He lost his, his shield. That. <laughs> My poor spear doesn't get a turn. It takes a tremendous amount of effort to break Shadowheart's concentration. Just because of her con and Warcaster combines. I don't know what this is they're casting at me, to be honest. But you know what I do know? There's about to be a lot of dead bodies. Um. Oh, the, wait, what? Oh, shit. Fine. Kill that. Kill that. I won't give in. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm gonna go stand in the corner. Away from this mess. Um. Sure. What should I do? I debated using the the adroit cast or whatever. You missed me. Like I'm just walking around. <laughs> oh, spirit guardians, aren't you the best? All right. Well, shield blow. Kaboom. I don't know why I have advantage on these guys, but I'm not going to say no to free advantage, you know? Maybe it's because they're dead? Undead? Don't know. Maybe it's my weapon? Unleash me. Don't know. Unleash you? Okay. No survivors. I agree. Excuse me, what did you just attack there? Why, uh... Oh. Oh, no. Game was lagging a little bit. A sign of how old this save file really, truly idle. is. In case you've forgotten. At last. That dusty pile of bandages was getting irritating. The Staff of Cherish Necromancy. Creatures have disadvantage on saving throws against your necromancy spells. When the wielder kills a hostile creature with a spell, they greedily absorb its energies and gain life essence until their next, their next rest. Well. I guess I can just loot everything then. The Torch of Revocation. What? There you go, Shadow Art. All right. What follows is a musty list of items used client and location. Items to be acquired, Doll of the Necromancer, Reanimation, as the Geldig Eshperta, Bone of Abyssal Depth, Soul Settlement, Ithwin Kendrick Moonshay, Torch of Revocation, Burning of Tormented Spirits, Anchor, Oscar Fervas, Alder's Gates. Is that him saying he's acquired them? before me. I don't really know, but he was up to no good. Okay, well. Parent's undying life force is stored outside of his body. He cannot be killed while his heart is intact. Oh. 
Wait, what's this? What's this? Oh, it's just a fake. Wait, is it just a fake one? Can't go there. Hmm. I'm not sure. Anyway, there's an easy way to break this. Expecting that. This jar fights back. Hmm. How does it fight back? Maybe I should just examine it. It's weak to fire, I see, okay. Ignis! Nothing but ashes left of that jar now. Great. This isn't what I wanted to have happen. My hands on everything. But it's what happens. Better than nothing. Why did... I don't know. I don't know why he thought uh, I betrayed him or something. I wanted to be his friends. Sorry, I'd... Open this. The house is mine now, so, you know, we'll just pillage it real quick. Why not? Shadow Heart can wait. She's waited this long. Let's get going. Yeah. For those that have forgotten what we're here for, I wouldn't it's blame you. It's been fun. a while. Not here in this room. But uh, Shadowheart, we're here for her, her parents. This mess. Wait, what? You're in like a different section of the house than me. I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, they're on the next Making level. Position. Whatever. Sometimes the only way out is through. I'm not confused at all. I'm very confused. Going for a Starion. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Yeah. Alright, no. The subtle approach. Time to move. You're uh, a little confused, aren't you, bud? That's fine. We all get a little confused every now and again. I get it. The Z-axis can be a little confusing. Once it's thrown into the maths, things get a little complicated. Fast. I completely understand. Got to press on. Sure. Ah! I thirst for combat. I know you do. Yes. No choice but to keep going. But I just have to wait. Can you lockpick this while you're in combat? Not the best timing. You sure? Feels like a good one to me. Oh my goodness. This is a lot. I mean, I know the guy Thrombo said that it was a lot, but this is a lot. What? Oh. Another fight. How Let's dare go. you? Hmm. You know, it's right. Arcane battery. Disintegrate. Death won't take me yet. Go. Cool. Alrighty. Now for the rest oh, of this shit. Evil, evil, evil. Father, carry in my art. You're nothing but a scam artist. They say you are a necessary evil if you want to talk about talk to our loved ones, but I say you're just plain evil. As soon as I've evidence enough to report you, you can expect the visit from the fist. Better yet, the steel watch. Well, the steel watch are dead, so. Smell. These corpses aren't the freshest. No, they are not. You have a bone saw and a stone wall. Here we go. Which has an iron ladder. Which leads to a hatch. Oh my. What the? Wow, okay. 
There's stuff going on down here. Elixir of Necromantic Resistance. And a mummy's memories. Some mortals might wonder why a mummy lord would abandon a subterranean crypt where he has abided for several human lifetimes, safely conducting delicate experiments into the very nature of life and its so-called opposite death, and trade all of that for a perilous existence in a ramshackle waterfront house in the cesspit known as Baldur's Gate. Some mortals might be morons. An entity of erudition and taste must naturally have a keen appreciation for what the surface world has to offer. The lilt of music and the lyricism of poetry, the cry of seagulls over grey harbour at sunset, the touch of a soft, non-decayed hand. You do not need a nose to savour a fine wine. All of these things and more I have earned through my dedication to esoteric studies, and but all of these things, as well as rare alchemy ingredients, alembics, and athanors, cost money. A lot of it. Thus, my new career is a high price and exclusive mystic consultant to the wealthy of the upper city. I have needs. A secret lair in the Undercity ruins. What was Carrion doing there? They shall not be denied there. Huh. That might be worth a look. So you know what? Maybe that hole was a good idea to go through. Interesting. So, did he say he had a ruins in the Undercity? Is that what we got out of that? Oh god, that was so loud. All of them died at once. I worry greatly about this safe. Excuse me? Okay, now we walk. Thank you. I worry greatly about this safe file, because this safe file is from when the game first like fully released. That guy turned to ash. Okay. And, uh... You know, is that a painting? There have been quite a few updates. I think I say this every playthrough, or every episode, but, you know, I, I am concerned. If something's going to break, but my ending won't be complete. Oh, I can come in from the ba I gotta come in from the balcony. Oh, I see. That portrait, it's been warded with necrotic magic. Cool. Show me my intelligence. Of course. Thrombo's notes. Oh no. Today's abuse was the final straw. We are out of here. Carrion's reach extends only so far. Gather whatever money you can scrape together and give it to me. I'm going to buy a small boat and we're going to row to freedom. Spread out and hide until tomorrow night and then meet me at the usual spot at the beach. And for the love of Mask, make sure Carrion does not see this note. Maybe swallow it. Beneath the canvas, I will cure you of your okay, maybe I should have helped him. A series of writing exercises outlined by Thrumbo addressed to my brothers. Beneath the exercises, several misguided attempts to write the letters of the alphabet. None. Successful. Hmm. Maybe I should have helped Thrumbo. Can I bring him back? There's a lever here. Pull the lever. Oh, it's for the door, right? Probably just a dead cat. Hi, Thrumbo. Can I, um... I don't think I can help him, to be honest. This staple of any worthwhile exorcist burns with a pale flame that destroys the anchors of troublesome ghosts in need of banishment. Hmm. Fancy. I don't think... I think what's done is done. I think he's dead. Well. What's this look like? Eh. It's okay. Of course, my web... My... Mine is the best. Uh, this is for almost exclusively the Mushroom Druid, right? And then we have the bonus... Didn't I give this to him? I think I sold that to him. Anyway. Um. Well, that's... That's all wrapped up, I guess. <laughs> I wanted to be your friend. Ah, well. I also haven't found this guy. Hmm. Return to the guild hall. The guild hall. Hmm. We also need to save Lazel. So, you know, we'll we'll get around to that. But first things first, let's go find this house of greed. So in a previous episode, Shadowheart over here recognized this graffiti. I think she said she did it or something. The Gazette reckons no 
And I think that means that the house is over here. I also kind of looked up the general area. It just said to the west, like as far as you can go. Yes. Especially the one you wronged. At my behest, of course. Suspicious wound. Stand back. I can't have laymen disrupting the ephemeral intricacies of the spirit field. Okay. I will fuck you up. I'm just oh, so we're clear. I see you. Don't think that I don't. Who do you see? Wonderful little beast. Nimble as anything. What? Study the man's appearance. Random investigation check, but I have intelligence for this. A man of means, judging by his attire. He looks like a merchant or a junior council member. But right now he's without care, entranced by a tree. What are you looking at? There was a squirrel in the tree. Marvelous creature. Inquisitive and nut crazed. Uh are you feeling well? You seem distracted. Oh, just tired, I suppose. It's been quite a long day. Or at least I think it has. What? You wouldn't happen to know where I live, would you? No. <laughs> Half drow. Do I look like I'm around here? Uh, you seem confused. Taking a bump to the head lately, perhaps. Oh, no. Nothing like that. I'm as fit as a fiddle. It's just that certain things are eluding me. This is more than a lapse, you sense. Something's been done to the man's memories. Hmm. I could deceive. What do you remember? Well, I remember I was sad. But in truth, I'm not quite sure what caused it. I'm not even sure I know what sad is anymore. And I came from that building over there. They were very nice to me. Seemed very helpful. Although, for the life of me, <laughs> I can't recall what I was doing there in the first place. Uh... Well, you know, I've come to collect on your debts. I don't need more money. I really don't. I... <laughs> I do not recall this in all honesty. Approval. How much are we talking about? I don't have that much on me. 500. Oh, take it. Now be gone, you vulture. <laughs> You're still super happy with me, right? Yes, of course. How about you? It's good. I don't want you to get any ideas, Astarian. And uh, Shadowheart absolutely loves me. I'll catch a break. You came from this house over there. Did you come from a house of grief, perhaps? Because that, yep, yep. Okay, that's a hard save. That's not me. Hello. Welcome. The house of grief lies just within. We are here to help. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I see. Welcome to the house of grief. Or perhaps welcome is the wrong word, Shadowheart. There's been some debate whether you'd even show up and face the consequences of your actions. I assumed you tried to flee, like a craven. Spare me your venom. I'm sure the Mother Superior will have plenty of her own. She will, probably. All in due time. I met a man who'd been robbed of his memories. Was that your handiwork? This is a place of healing. Anyone who partook in our methods did so willingly, and left with a smile on their face, freed from their troubles. Would you accuse a surgeon of robbing a tumor? I think not. All right, let us pass. As I said, in due time. First, you submit to the mapping of the heart. Only then can we know what is to be done with you. The mapping of the what? This is the house of grief. We strive to help those whose hearts have grown heavy. Be it with anger, melancholy, grief, or 
treachery. Submit to the mapping and reveal what lurks in your heart. If you consent, follow me. If you do not, leave. Do I consent? I mean, the, it just stopped there. I feel like I should just murder everybody, to be honest. This is me. That, that was my save. I don't really submit to this. I just kind of want to fuck you up. Where'd you go? Huh. Um. You left. You seek to be unburdened, yes? The mapping of the heart can reveal the way. Yet, there is another here whose need is great. That voice. Allow me. I think I'm supposed to do this. All right. Go ahead. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm not about this life. Do you know why you are here? There is something I lost. No had taken from me. My family. My life. I want it all back. Loss is a gift, girl. Do you still not understand that? Now give me the true answer. What is your purpose in being here? The magazine. The artifact. I was sent to retrieve it. At any cost. And who tasked you with this mission? The Mother Superior. Of Sha... It's you. Give me the honor of my name. In full. I... I can't. My memories... I know what's in that head of yours better than you do, girl. My name. Mother Superior... Iconia Devere. You still have the wits to recognize your betters. Good. Now descend. You have much to answer for. An astral projection. Clever girl. She's not taking any chances. We shouldn't either. I agree. I also like your bloodstain. Look there, Stein. Better take a closer look. There's a button. I better just open this. Okay. There's not really need for me to rest. I kind of have all my stuff. Wait. What now? My dear, please be patient with me. I am slow and forgetful. Okay, good. Looking ahead. I want to make sure the aura protection was actually still on. The unburdening. The volume describes in the full process of unburdening in exact detail. Valuable targets are identified from those who seek out the services of the House of Grief. If they are willing to pay, they proceed to the mapping of the heart, where the Inquirer of Grief will question them while discreetly probing their thoughts for anything that can be of use to the Lady of Loss. Following this, targets are ushered downwards to stand before the Mirror of Loss. Given the correct prompts by the Inquirer of Grief, the target will surrender memories to the Mirror for the benefit of all of Lady Shah's children. In the same stroke, the mirror can remove memories of what they have seen in the cloister, as well as whatever they believe to be the source of their troubles. Then they can be turned loose, blissfully ignorant of the offering they Keep your distance, have a crooked made. Touch. Well, I'm not going to just walk in there. Just look around. What to do? How much further can I go? Oh. Interrogation in three levels. I think I might have hurt people here. Learned how to break their bodies. Their spirits. Quiet in here now. But it wasn't always so. Screams rang off these walls. I swear I can almost hear them. A manual for Shar and interrogation. Interrogators, describing three levels of induced stress, emotional, physical, and lethal. It emphasizes eliciting information over punishment and cautions the interrogator against becoming emotionally involved in the process, either sympathetically or sadistically. 
Well, this person got fucked. Pretty, pretty hard. Okay. Let's have a look. I don't think there's much in here for me. There are a lot of clothes. Rags. Okay. Fair enough. And then we have the infiltration training, which of course, mm -hmm. Astarian must also lock back. Let's crack it open. I agree. Crack it open. Still breathing, despite everything. Best be on my way. The starting has become so good at uh cunning disguise can serve a warrior of the Dark Lady better than any armor. That's what they always told us. And that's why you have this was my favorite part. Putting these on. Pretending to be someone else. I suppose that's been my whole life. What's this? These mannequins here for. I wanted to take the outfit. A drow outfit. Yeah, I'll take that. And we have uh, some chests inside that are locked. Well, Starring. If you would. Pleasure. Please and thank you. Ooh, these are twenties. Wow, Starian. I'd say it's a challenge, but I don't think it is. Cobalt die. I actually have seen quite a lot of cobalt die. It's a it's a really weird one. That's the one that's like blue and pink, and there were all there was still alive. So that's pro. Artifact mission challenges. The pages in this handwritten notebook have been torn out, except for the final page, which was only partially removed. The remaining text reads as follows. Ren, I'm assuming Sharon, agents in summary must be trained to deal with conventional illithid and Githyanki traps, locks, levers, and controls. But most importantly, they must be mentally prepared to face extreme situations under alien conditions. Casualties are expected. But that circumstance must not halt the mission. Agents are to be deep imbued to regard mission success as critical even beyond their own survival. Detailed report from a Sharon agent, Dark Adept Bilvoy Reed, about the activities of Enver Gortash, an armed smuggler the Sharons had designated a person of interest. The report concludes with the lines below. Gortash, whom we believe to be a follower of the tyranny godling Bane, has recently been consorting with a leading adherent of the murder godling Ball. The pair were observed entering the Devil's Fee, where they conferred for over an hour with the establishment's proprietor, the known Diabolist Helsick. This must be considered significant, as Helsic is reputed to be able to open gate portals to the Hells if her extravagant fees Swift as my feet can carry me. Met. Hmm. Well, we did know that, because we also have spoken with such an individual. Alright, cloister time. Wow, really? This is all under the city? I remember this place now. A whole stolen childhood spent in these halls. The Mother Superior must be close. Soon this will all be over. Will it? Like, that's way too easy. Did you see what a star he had to go through for his quest, Shadowheart? This has only just begun. Hello. Keep going. The Mother Superior is expecting you. Alright. Can I talk to you? Mother Superior will deal with you. Okay. My statues. Very Slaneshi. Why do I feel like I'm about to fight every person here? In black satin and embraced by La They already heard how you disgraced yourself before Lady Shah. How she marked you as the enemy. But it is quite another thing for them to see it for themselves. I am very glad you decided to return. A cautionary tale such as yours will be studied by Lady Shah's initiates for years to come. But perhaps I can make a case for some small measure of mercy. Give me the artifact, and I can at least make this quick. Enough. I don't answer to you. Not anymore. I'm here for my family. That's right. I know what you did. And it's not going to be quick. This is your family. And now you have turned your back on it. 
The artifact was your last chance to prove yourself. And you squandered it. Why is the artifact so important to you? Whispers reached my ears from all corners. Potential rivals of Lady Shah, all vying for the same prize. A new god, amassing the disaffected, the outcasts. Those who should turn to us. This absolute is but an upstart, disturbing the natural order and threatening to impede the glorious return of Lady Shah's pure, endless darkness. I had to act. I had to strangle that foul conspiracy while it was still in the cradle. We learned all we could. The artifact was the one thing the Absolutists feared. The one thing they desperately wanted to keep out of their enemy's grasp. I had to have it. Shah bid you do all of this. Lady Shah's concerns lie elsewhere. With another. But she is a goddess. She can afford to ignore that which does not threaten her. I must keep her faith alive in mortal hearts. I must defend her ways, lead her children, stop all threats. Even if I must go against her wishes, I will prove myself her most loyal servant. Shah doesn't care. She was always going to use you and discard you. But now, I'm going to deal with you first. I like the Shadow Heart. You there! Surrender this one to me now, and you can consider Lady Shah's forces your allies in the battles to come. Nope. As you like. Lilala! For Shah! I am Lady well. Shah. The unknown father, offering an embrace of fang and claw. Shall we go fuck her up? I think we shall. Yes, I think that is the course. Right Can't bring her. Wait, 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 I should read this. Whenever you take radiant damage reflected back at your attacker, twofold as force damage. Okay. So I should not smite. Uh, Shar's ardent favor. That's her chosen disciple regain hit points every time they use their channel divinity. Okay. okay. That's will be all I can do. I'm ready. But a Starian. A Starian can end this. Isn't that right, Astarian? That sure is. Knocked out. What, you don't want to be dead? Fine. I won't now kill you me. yet. <laughs> um. Let's do Dominance Backlash. No. Only I'm allowed to cast spells. Who's ready for the biggest fireball of their fucking life? Let's go. Get off me. Pro, rude. Why are there so many people? Hmm. I don't think I can actually black hole this. Well, maybe. Oh. And now. Let's go with a level four fireball, shall we? That will do. Okay. And I'll stand here. Nah. They're going after Fabe. They know the real threat. Yeah. Mother Superior is immune to being blended. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do it. I'm going to become so grossly incandescent. Level six. 
then let's get a spear. Where shall we put the spear? Oh, I'm blind, so I can't really put it anywhere. Good enough. We'll do. Why me? What did I do? Besides throw fireballs at people. Alright, fine. Just keep blinding everybody. And Thara can see through blindness. So, I mean, there's that. You have a lot of health. Come here and die. No. No, I don't think I will. I think Mithara can cast Black Hole as well. But Fave should be able to recast it. Maybe? Possibly? Good save. I'm not even sure what that was, but good save. The next thing I, shall prevail. I doubt that. Lady Shah's will shall be done. Sure as night shall fall. Are we done now? Can I, can I do stuff? Great. Oh, right. My dear. It's your turn. I'd really rather not hit her. If I can help it. Good swing. Um... Sure. Time for a call. Now, unfortunately, Astarian can't really. Well, he has Mind Blast. Okay, fair enough. That's disgusting. <laughs> Lots of saves, though. Much to my surprise. Hello, let's try this. Whatever that was, no. All right, Fabe. It's time. Do it. A level five fireball. I don't want to hit Mother Sub There we go. There we go. That's it. Do it. Kaboom. I can recast this. All right, sure. Over there. <laughs> oh, I like the illithid powers. No. None of that. What is the two? Why do you keep trying to cast it? Oh, damage. I see. Darkness shall triumph. Boom. Embrace my radiance. <laughs> uh. Wow, okay. Fair enough. She just had the strength. Too slow. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. Um. Okay, I'll come deal with this game. Because even though Minthara is immune to being blinded, other things are not. Hold on, Minthara. Hungry for the slaughter. You made me proud. You always make me proud. Now, Starion, on the other hand... Well, he did it, I guess. You are so slow. Alright. 
Well. I'll have strike fun. you down. I'm just gonna save her real quick. Can we still talk to her? You and I need to speak. Okay. You may have evaded the mapping of the heart, but never mind. I can delve into your true intentions right now. You feel the barest of presences caress your mind. She's reading your thoughts. Ah, as I thought. Quite an adventure has brought you to this point. Illithids, kidnapping, infection, the hells, hunted by cultists and Githyanki alike. And, of course, the artifact. It's called an astral prism. And let me guess you want it. An old song. Take my word for it. Its name does not concern me. Its power does. I have been awaiting word of this item for some time. Ever since I dispatched a cadre of Lady Shah's children to retrieve it. I have been very patient. But no more. I felt Shadowheart's presence in your mind. And with it... The artifact. She succeeded in retrieving it, but then it is you who appeared, not her. Where is the artifact? Uh, somehow I'm not sure I should tell you. Then this will be a very short conversation. I have not assembled my forces here just to spectate. Um, you're Humor dead. With a little negotiation. Perhaps we can find terms that will allow blades to remain sheathed. You're on the floor. As far as the artifact is concerned, there is nothing to discuss. Reconsider. Aid me, and you can count on my support against the Absolute. Reject me. And your journey ends here. You do know you're dead, right? Hmm. Not happening. Even if I wanted to give it to you, I cannot. The artifact is bound to me. It will kill you. My interest is defeating the Absolute. It seems you're on that path already. I will not have it said that I am unreasonable. Shadowheart, surrender her to me. She has much to answer for. No. Oh, but I shall. I'll just ask your corpse where she's hiding. Lilala! Fasha! And how did that go? <gasps> Looks like it went well. If I talk to her again. You and I need to speak. Alright. You may you feel Ah. As I thought. Lila. No. Okay. <sighs> Interesting. Well, I feel that way right. later. A lost training hall key. I don't need any keys. He says as he picks up a key. Should mind my step. I found a bug, but that's okay, because she's still on the floor. Crimes of the Moon Maiden. Zion. How delicious. He still gets happy from the, the Ascended Bite, which makes sense. Someone told me that you can... Um, have us send a Dastarian bite everybody and turn them into vampires. Can't give up now. But uh, like I said, I'd rather not enough. let him get over his end. Crimes and Moon Maiden by the Anti-Lunar League. Well into any who throws their lot in with Sir Loon. Four ways she is pulling the wool over one's eyes. First, she can make you think your husband is a werewolf when he's only forgotten to shave. What? Second, she's always changing, making it difficult for slow painters to capture her likeness. Third, it hides absolutely bugger the tides. And fourth, people who keep associating the moon with femininity, and frankly, we're fed up reading the same poetry over and over again. And it's all that celestial bent Saloon's fault. Ready. 
Uh, hmm. Okay. Armory. I'm interested. You have my undivided attention. Behind those crates, it looks like there's an opening. Behind those what's? Here we go again. Ah. Dara. Is for the best. Ah. Out of my way. Oh. Ah. I don't see anything here like worth my time. Agent Best Roster, hold on. Hold on. I take it back. A roster of five infiltrators is written in an elegant hand. Above their names, it is noted that this group have proven themselves to be the most skilled and have the greatest chance of successfully obtaining the artifact, but they remain utterly expendable. Calden Darkwood, leader, Budic Vris, Close Combat, Kirk Deep Croft, Lockpicking, Drina Kovli, Languages, and Shadowheart Healer. Hey Shadowheart, you were a healer. I mean, we kind of knew that. Moving ahead. Wouldn't it be cool if there was like a legendary weapon in here or something? Or armor piece? Or anything? A little hideaway. Why does this place seem so familiar? I don't know. Why does it? She's going to make me look in the mirror again. She's going to take my memories. I do not want to forget who I am. I like flowers. I like animals. My name is... The writing breaks off with a jagged scrawl. As if. I'll take that. Okay. Is this the... They heap precious pelf upon the altar as if they were nothing. The door wants gold trinkets, baubles of mammon. What? Mammon? The demon god thing? Archdemon? Hmm. That's who uh, Helsic serves. Okay. This kind of looks like the forest from Shadowheart's Memories, where she was abducted. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, you guys get back on the floor. Are you sure your parents would be here? Wouldn't they be, like, old or something? Black diamond. This grows up after I moved something on the altar. Oh. Uh. Treasured in light, lost in dark. Treasured in light. Better not be cursed. Lost in dark. Oh. I don't know what that was for. I see them. I see my parents. Gods. What's been done to them? Hmm. Ledger bearing the name of those incarcerated in the Chamber of Lost. Some are noted to have died. Treshk. Lear, Githyanki, double guard at all times, deceased. Arnel Hallowheef, Emmeline Hallowheef, Leaf. Baron Alice Bourmol, deceased, and unknown interloper, deceased. So, is your last name Hollowleaf, Shadowheart? You Shadowheart the Hollowleaf? That's a mouthful. How do you know these are your parents? Are they actually your parents? Hello? Nothing to interact with here. Or are they up here? Oh, there's the Gith Yankee. A decapitated Gith Yankee. If they're de decapitated, I can't talk to them, right? With the whole speak to the dead thing? I don't think so. I'm sure Lazelle would have something interesting to say here. Key. And removed. They tortured her for information. Then made sure the corpse couldn't help and there's something in that debris. Aha. Notes. A log of interrogation notes detaining a Githyanki's captive's torture over a number of days. The captive remains strong at first, but very gradually starts to slip and offer up information. 
about the whereabouts of a mysterious artifact hidden away by Queen Blackett. Ah, that's how they found it. Okay. Fair enough. So. Um, I'm assuming I go over here. I'm assuming. Oh, now now they're showing up. Char's embrace. You cannot move or escape while locked within the Dark Lady's clutches. I should speak up. He's a high elf. Someone's missing from this. Where's Minthara? You can't be. Another vile trick. No. There is no trick. It's her. Jennifer. Jen. Our little girl. Oh, Jen's your name. Oh, maiden's grace. It is you. I'm here to get you out of here. They're all gone. It's over. Uh oh. Wait, why am I being brought into this? It is not over. Hi, Shar. You see, it matters not if you raise this place, if you slay every one of your brothers and sisters. That was never where my power resided. Every time you try to step away from me, every time you try to reach for Saluna, my hold on you bites deeper. If you had learned, if you had obeyed, there would be no pain. But you struggle on. You will make things worse for yourself and for them. Um, ignore her, Shadow Heart. She's just trying to spite your victory. Victory? Your victory is but a guttering candle in the dark. Temporary. Inconsequential. Enough! I'm taking my parents away from here. I'm taking them away from you! You cannot. We are still bound to you. You cannot both free us. And free yourself from her curse. The Moon Maiden needs you more than she needs us. You are the future. You must return to the fold. We are the past. And our duty is almost done. Eloquently put. His mind stood up well to his time here. The same cannot be said for your mother. Such brief, fragile lives humans lead. This is my final lesson. I leave you now to dwell on your mistakes and make your choice. Shah's parting words make your flesh crawl. There is no lesson to be learned here, only a family's torment, a spiteful goddess's whims, and an unspeakable choice to be made. She's gone. I, d I don't understand. Shah will never admit defeat. Not until she has stolen one last thing from you. We cannot allow your future to be her last prize. Not after all your mother and I have endured to see you again. Your companion understands, I think. Help her, please. Help her see what must be done. She wants you to kill your parents. Her idea of a parting gift. <laughs> but uh, you have to choose, Shadowheart. Free your parents or rid yourself of Shah's curse. No, I, I can't. I came here for them. And you did. You found us. All these years, that dream kept us going. That you would break free. No matter what they made you do to us, 
We knew you were still in there. I knew the Dark Woods wouldn't frighten you. You were always such a brave girl. She was, and still is. You've saved us. Now save yourself. You'll be out of Shah's reach, and we'll be at peace. But I only just found you again after all this time. I can't lose you again. We'll still be with you. By the Moon Maiden's grace, we'll never be far. Please, Jennifer. I mean, I don't know why she's looking at me. This is her choice. But, um... End their suffering and yours. Is this truly what you want? It is what we need. All of us. You were meant to be a guiding light for Saluna's faithful, but they robbed you from us. Now that can be righted, and we can rest. Help us, Jen. I can let go. Now I've seen your face again. Goodbye. Not goodbye. Not even close. What are those? Moonlets. They bring Saluna's light to dark places and offer guidance to those in need. My parents are watching over me. Wait, did they just die? Let's leave this place. There's nothing more for me here. What about your memories? Isn't there more that was taken from you? More? Most, I should think. I doubt Shah will be given over to generosity. Best if I just consider them lost. I have everything I need to make new memories. As for this place, all I did here, let it stay forgotten. I mean, I'm down to blow it up. Can we do that? Where is Madara? The fuck? Oh. You got stuck over here. If you are sure. I am. I mean, I see the mirror of loss. I want to click on it. I want to make a fat arcane check. If not over, then through. And learn something. My parents. I saw them. Spoke to them. And let them go. It's... It's more than I can take in just now. Understandable. Give me a night. To try and get my head together. You were the one who had an exclamation mark over your head. Well. We did that. Now it's time to go talk to the mirror. And by talk, I mean give me a fat arcana check I can pass. Would have one, I don't know. Huge polished disc looms before you. A mirror. One used by the Sharans to plunder memories from the minds of others. This feels familiar to me somehow. I'm sure I've stood before this mirror before. Many times, perhaps. Shall we do a religion check? Offer a prayer. It's not really my thing, but... Oh, I was one short? This is my final inspiration. My last inspiration's gone. You feel the presence, dark and ancient. It approves of your fealty. Hmm. Gaze into the mirror and turn on offering it one the of your memories. The mirror's emptiness seems to draw you into a stupefying embrace. Your thoughts, feelings, memories, they grow slow and drowsy, drifting away from each other. You must surrender some part of yourself. But what? Oh.
I can part with the forbidden knowledge? No, fuck that. Strength, youth. Let's try and deceive it. You will not part with any part of yourself. You will not surrender any part of yourself. Invent a false offering to trick the mirror. God damn it. <laughs> this is where I need more inspiration. Deception fails. You feel that something true to you is wrested from you as punishment. With nothing given in return. The dark mirror seems to turn dormant. It's hunger sated. Uh-oh. Your strength score has been reduced by two. Hmm. Do 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 do. <laughs> Still alive. So that's progress. Okay. Fair enough. Keep going. Um, I don't think that was really worth my final inspiration, but I'm sure we'll find more, right? They were. I was finding so much inspiration. I've lost, like at least ten. Just. Well, I say lost. At least 10 were just converted to experience. Hey. So, you're unconscious. You and I need... You may... You feel... Ah, as I thought. Quite an adventure. Lila. what do I do about this? Why does she have a special knockout when everyone else is just dead? What if I shoot you now? Okay. <laughs> Lyconia's personal chest key. I wonder where that is. Lyconia's walking fortress. When a foe hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reactions, dealing it two to four or two to eight force damage and knock it prone. Hmm. Reflective shell warding body. Lyconia's priestess robes. And the handmaiden's mace. Set the wearer's strength to eighteen. Oh. The enchantment has no effect if their strength score is higher without it. Interesting. I bet I could respec Shadowheart to have no strength and give her that. And then she would have 18. Let's see what this does. Hi. You know I killed everyone here, right? Shadowheart? I wasn't sure if I'd ever lay eyes on you again. It's me. Nocturne. Do you remember? You recall the memory Shadowheart recovered by eating the noble stalk. This must be the person she remembered. I remember you, but you're different. Very different. I used to call you something else, didn't I? You did, but that's not who I am now. I remember the other initiates used to tease you about your name, the one you chose to honor Lady Shah. They were attacking who you were. I never found it funny, but I wasn't quite sure why. Eventually, I realized it was because I wasn't happy with who I was. I couldn't keep going like that. But seeing how you fought on, I realized that I didn't have to. From then on, I was Nocturne. It wasn't easy, but everything started to make sense. Is that combat music? I could breathe. It's a beautiful name. Suits you well. Thank you. Picked it myself. <laughs> but enough of that. I, I can't believe you're back. I've been trying to return here as long as I can remember. Which admittedly doesn't amount to much. They... They whispered it was a suicide mission. The search for the artifact you were sent on. Oh, it was. Some even thought it was the Mother Superior's plan alone, and not Lady Shah's intent. It was that too. But now it seems you've turned on both the Mother Superior and Lady Shah. Yep. Shah condemned anything. me. By her decree, you and I are enemies. Only if you wish us to be. You helped me be true to myself. I will not begrudge you for discovering yourself. Even if it displeases Lady Shah. That's... Good enough for me. I'm not sure what I expected coming back to this place. Certainly not a friend. There must be all sorts you can tell me. Things I can't even remember. There are. 
But with the Mother Superior gone, I don't know if I can stay here to reminisce. Perhaps there's another enclave out there for me? You don't need Shah. You don't, perhaps. Not everyone is as brave. I'll leave come tomorrow. Come see me before then. I was working as quartermaster. I can sell you some things to aid you. And we can catch up. Okay. Was I not supposed to kill the Mother Superior then? Greetings. Do you seek to trade? As Shadowheart's friend, I'll extend the privilege to you as well. Sure. What do you got? Uh, nothing. You have nothing. I mean, you have two of these. That's kind of cool. I'll take your... I'll take that. There you go. Be sure to get everything you need. Yeah, 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 you're leaving. Don't care. These jewels. Why do I remember these, of all things? A gift from Soldanesula, Mother Superior said. Ah. Curious. I could never quite tell if she was proud of them or not. Interrogation log. Wait, isn't this a get the Yankee thing? The log of interrogation notes that Tealing Agit Yankee camped this torture over a number of days. The captive remained strong at first, but very gradually starts to slip. Gith Yankee. Part of the Sharon's preparations to seize the astral prism, no doubt. Hey, you don't mind if I read your journal, do you? I am Nocturne. I think it's her. I see her when I look in the mirror. I cannot remember the last time someone called me by the wrong name. Shadowheart has been swift to gently correct slips of the tongue, and even swifter in challenging those who'd use my force one name in malice. I'm lucky to have her as a friend. They took Shadowheart's memories again, more than they took before. But I know what to do now. I know she'll be frightened and that she won't remember much, not even me. I can take her to our hideaway and remind her of herself, I'm getting better at it each time. I love seeing that look in her eyes when she finally remembers me. Why must the Mother Superior do this to her? Why must she grind her under her heel like she does to no other? They are grooming her for a mission, and will soon take away her memories again. I need to see her again while she still remembers me. I need to tell her to stay safe, and that I will see her again. It has been days and no word. Shadowheart and the others could be alive or dead. Even the Mother Superior does not seem to know. I am sick with worry. I cannot even bear to write more. You had a good friend, Shadowheart. Glad I didn't have to kill her. Like all of them. Killed all them. There were not very many beds for the amount of murder I ended up having to conduct, but that's okay. Now comes the next part. Will they let me leave the House of Grief without killing them, or do I have to kill them as well? Maybe they won't be here. Maybe they'll have abandoned, like the craven dogs that they thought Shadowheart was. Why was Astarian doing a Naruto run for like five seconds? Anyway, a long walk out. If only I could bury this place. But alas. Alright, that to kill you? Yep. I'd say what a shock, but I'm not shocked at all. Prey found. You have a lot of health for a level 4, dude. You lived it too. A Starian. How did you have all the weak turned off? Need to find a way all right. I'm, since I'm in a rest, let's just cast the highest level spell I can. One. Okay. Fresh orders. Understood. You can find the path. You can do it. Just fly over here. Oh, I have more people outside. At war. In combat. Oh, they're both... Okay, I got it. They're grief guards. There. They'd, of course, be mad at what I did. Understandable. But Viconia had a nice step. A nice mace. I think that was a character from Baldur's Gate 2. As well. Which, you know, I didn't treat her like she was, but that's fine. I don't have to. 
She wanted Shadowheart. So much for peace. And Shadowheart is my plan B. You know? A wise move. Although to be fair, I think Minthara has embraced my love. Hey, I have a, a thing for your face. Great. Do any of you have anything useful? She might. She's the attendant. Holy shit, you have a lot of books. Let's grab the keys. The collection's lockbox. Don't mind if I do. There's gold inside. They're proceeds. Proceeds. A client list. Oh. Uh, this guy, Melancholy Hall. Better be a soft bedroll in my near future. That is, don't worry. Uh, so these are all people that are paid. Note, Mother V has ordered we seek out this Marco Crean if possible. During his mapping, she detected thoughts and memories of strange lands and unfamiliar people. Fixed on a sword, or possibly Zord. Mother V's interest was peak. She wants that mine. The update the update the trail has gone cold as if he had vanished entirely. Well, and then a violent heart and Arvis. Okay. Very well. Fair enough. And I think that it's time for camp. Alrighty, let's wrap it up. Have a chat. Look at my very fancy clothes. I found a different version of this while we were doing all of that. Hey, look at that. It's more colorful. And then I have this. I basically have Minthara's clothes as well. But they don't look quite as good as on me as they do on her. Speaking of... Well, let's speak with Shadowheart first. She was the show. The center of the show today. That little hideaway that we found in the cloister... It almost felt like I'd found a piece of my childhood. A childhood I don't truly remember. But remember it or not, I felt right at home there. Surrounded by books and night orchids. Want to go and spend some more time there? <laughs> don't tempt me. Might find it hard to leave. Well, can you imagine what it would have been like growing up in that place? Endless training, no privacy, facing scorn wherever I looked. I can very easily imagine I needed somewhere to escape to, if I was to survive. Nocturne and I must have come here a lot. We probably had plenty we wanted to hide from. Come here? Anyway... I think that little hideaway helped shape who I am, as much as any sermon or training did. Funny, the things that influence you. True. What about the memories that were taken from you? Most are lost forever. Some may creep back into my mind if I encounter anything that helps clear the fog. Then... There's what Shah did restore to me. Memories of pain. Suffering. Both my own and what I inflicted. Of course. It's overwhelming. Like a lifetime's worth of nightmares unleashed all at once upon waking. I can barely untangle one moment from another, not that I even want to. <laughs> I just know that my heart sinks if I let my thoughts wander to them. Hmm. What about us? Do you remember all that we've been through? I I might like this question. Of course. From the first time I laid eyes on you right until now. That's all safe. I wouldn't surrender even a moment of it. Aww. Sure did that for no other purpose but sheer spite. Shah seeks to break people. To fill their lives with despair so that they will turn to her for relief. Perhaps she thought this would lead me back to her in time. But it won't. I fought too hard to win my freedom. I will not give it up again no matter how much it hurts. That's my girl. They'll fade with time. They always do. Perhaps. But in the meanwhile, 
I'll just have to find a way to live with them. All right. I mean, I could help if I weren't romancing another lovely lady. Killing one's parents can be an important rite of passage. <laughs> A usurpation of their place in society. Hashtag just Shadow draw Heart may not have gained status from her parents' death, but she has freed herself from Shah's influence. There is comfort in that. I agree. You are insightful as always, my dear. What about you? What we did might feel an evil thing, I know. But if Minsk was not saved from the cult, was used to hurt those who only meant to help him. I think that ending Minsk might have been a way of saving Minsk too. That was surprisingly insightful, Minsk. Jahira? Ever will Shar try to twist bonds of love into chains of service? Shadowheart did not let her. I cannot presume to know her parents or what they suffered. But I know that they were proud in the end. Also, uh, before uh, this episode started, I had to recruit Jahira briefly to get the gloves back for uh, Shadowheart. And she talked about how um, <laughs> Astarian has now inherited his master's debts. And once this is all said and done, she will be a very nosy neighbor to make sure Astarian doesn't uh, get a little too carried away. Sorry you missed that. What Shadowheart did for her parents was a profound act of love. Her courage is... Well, it's quite something to behold. Indeed it is, Gail. Okay. <laughs> don't you like how there's still the option to talk about the vampire? I also don't like these clothes. I don't know if these are better, honestly. They feel too fancy for... Shadowheart's parents are at peace. And so she, it seems. Okay. Yeah. But let us see if we are at peace when we slumber for the evening. Shall we be interrupted so rude? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the statue it I found. Doesn't look like anyone's been here in a while. Perhaps people lost faith or forgot about it. My is way too fancy. To come here to see if I felt anything that I hadn't done before. Now that I know what I know. Now that I know who I am. Hmm. You've turned from Shar. Doesn't necessarily oblige you to come here and embrace Silun. True. But too much freedom can be frightening. Lonely. And there's a reason why so many are eager to bow. I had my family. For too short a moment. Now they're gone. By my hand. Hmm. You did what was necessary. You freed them and yourself. But why does freedom have to feel like I've lost everything? Perhaps I could have saved them. Or perhaps Shah would have helped me forget them. Instead, I've neither. I can... <laughs> I felt, I was going to say, I can feel Minthara's, like, have, pointing a knife at me right now. <sighs> Let it all out. This has been a long time coming. It's been a long time since I've shed a tear. I don't even know Your face how long. long. Your face has changed. You lost your, your Sith veins. So what is it now? Shadowheart or Genevieve? Shadowheart. She's as much a part of who I am as Genevieve. Can't just forget her. It's not what I do anymore. Besides, 
Shadowheart still suits me. Even better than before, perhaps. I can't cast a shadow without some light. True. I have expected Minthara to be standing over my bed. <laughs> like, <laughs> with my naked dagger. <laughs> How dare you comfort other women at night? But you won't come join me. You wish to consult me? No, I mean, yes, but no. All right. Well, that was Shadowheart's quest done and done. It would seem... I don't know how many allies I have. Let's see. So, Astarian, we have his dark magic. The Gondians. Uh, the Grand Duke Ravenguard. Laroacan. The Strange Creature. No doubt we'll have a powerful ally when we need it most. The, the Ox? Okay, sure. Floric is immensely grateful that we freed her. That was um, Raven Guard's assistant. Okay. And we have Volo. I'm sure he'll be supremely helpful. Which means, next time... I think we gotta go... Save Lazel. Uh, I'm a little concerned that she's... Her quest's not on here anymore. Ah. Is this it? No. Well. I think she's in the Undercity. Which I suppose is where we're heading next. So thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. I think we're getting to the end of the game. I certainly hope so. It's been a long-running series. And I think Fabe is ready to see the end of his journey, because I know that I am. If you like to see me, happy to join the description down below, and I will see you next time. Bye.